Video released by Russian Customs appears to show 31-year-old Griner going through airport security and an employee removing a package from her bag. Russian state media reporting that vape cartridges containing hashish oil were found. Griner was taken into custody. Her detention extended until at least May. She could face up to a decade in a Russian prison if convicted on drug charges. We don't know whether she actually did bring these, you know, hash vaping items into Russia or not. The Russians are notorious for planting drugs and other things on Americans. For weeks, these are the only images we've seen of WNBA superstar Brittany Griner, the 6'9 standout currently being held in Russia. There are questions about the timing of Griner's arrest and whether Russia may try to use her as leverage. I think it will backfire because frankly now more Americans, American sports fans and others are paying attention to the war in Ukraine and what President Biden is doing more than they would have otherwise. And holding a high profile athlete under these what seems to be trumped up charges isn't gonna help Vladimir Putin make his case internationally either. It has reportedly been 41 days since Brittany Griner's detainment in Russia. Back on February 17th, ESPN reported Russian authorities allegedly found vape cartridges in her luggage. This carries a sentence of a decade in prison. The consular officer who visited uh, with Brittany Griner was able to verify that she is doing as well as can be expected uh, under these very difficult circumstances. Uh, we'll continue to work very closely uh, with her legal team, uh, with her broader network, uh, to see to it that she is uh, treated fairly and that her rights are respected. Ned Price, spokesman for the U.S. State Department, addressing the media. In our minds, uh, it is our expectation that this not be a one-off visit. Again, we want timely, consistent uh, <coughs> access to American detainees in Russia, including those in pretrial detention. Uh, that would call for or additional visits to Brittany Griner and to other Americans who were detained in Russia. TJ Quinn, an investigative journalist with ESPN, spoke with NBC affiliate KARE11 in Minneapolis. The people around her on the advice of the U.S. State Department tried to keep it very low profile, said Quinn, who's been talking to people in the know about this from day one, and that advice he thinks is one of Griner's family and others close to her are taking. But why? What they want to see is how far can they get her with her attorneys in Russia to see if they can't resolve this in a low-key way before they need to turn up the pressure. Because the last thing they want is for Putin to decide, I'm going to hang on to her as long as I want until I get what I want, Quinn said. Lisa Leslie, Hall of Famer, four-time Olympic gold medalist, multiple MVP awards to her name, one of the greatest basketball players ever, told the I Am Athlete podcast what we were told. And again, this is all sort of passed along through hearsay, but what we were told was to not make a big fuss about it so that they could not use her as a pawn, so to speak, in this situation in the war. So to make it like it's not that important or don't make it where we're like free Britney and we start this campaign and then it becomes something that they can use. She's a fairly well-known figure here, certainly more well-known than the two gentlemen that are uh, 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 locked up in, in, in Russia right now. And so she represents a different kind of prize. Dr. Jeremy Levitt, law professor at Florida A&M University, spoke with USA Today. The nation's Dave Zirin wrote in his piece, WNBA legend Lisa Leslie went public with what a lot of us have heard behind the scenes, that they have been instructed to keep quiet and exercise personal censorship for the sake of a broader political strategy aimed at securing her release and bringing her home. One thing I find a little worrisome is this extension of her preliminary holding from two months to three months because you have to go to a higher authority to get it lengthened. You're talking about five years, not jail time, but a labor camp. Peter Maggs, Russian law expert at the University of Illinois, gave his insights to the Associated Press. But let's go back to Zyron for a second. Please take a step back from the situation because we are dealing right now with a series of bad choices. The U.S. State Department and whatever private attorneys or negotiators are involved here called for silence. No grassroots movement, no international uproar, no upsetting what they clearly see as a delicate situation. Their strategy has brought us to a point where Griner is facing years at a labor camp. The need to switch strategies and the need to let Russia and Putin know that the whole world is watching when Griner finally sees the inside of a courtroom May 18th 
has never felt more pressing. The time for silence has passed. Brittany Griner is a political prisoner, and we need to treat her as such and bring the kind of spotlight and international solidarity that's so desperately needed. It's time to shame and name. We should be shaming the sports press for yapping it up about the NFL offseason 24-7 and pretending that Griner is not sharing a small cell with others and a bed too short for her six foot nine frame. We should be shaming the sports press and the political elites for their heteronormative discomfort in raising the name of a black queer woman with tattoos and a remarkably brave wife. And for those of us who have love for Griner and all she means on and off the court, we need to break the silence.